Hey everyone, I'm going to film this video in two parts because I've got all of my pieces die cut now for my projects that I'm going to take along with me to the craft crafty day. So I thought I'd first, you know, because I've done all of the die cutting, I can show you some of the things that I used. And then um, after the crafty day, I'll show you the projects that I actually completed. Um, so this is, uh, these are the items that I've used to create my um, craft project. Um, and they are going to be uh, gift tags for um, Christmas. And I figured it would be a good way to kind of jumpstart my crafting again and get into um, something a little bit other than card making. <laughs> so what I've done is I've used this home, what is it called? Homespun Holiday Bundle, All Bundled Up. Is that the one? Um, yeah, All Bundled Up Kit. This is the um, little tag on the, the kit. I bought the kit, um, and it has a toboggan in it and some companion dies, and I'll show you that. But um, this is from Posture Design. Um, let me see. This is the guide. So here's... Here's some of the different ideas that she has for the toboggan. You can see it's got like lots of different designs. This is a couple of pages. I'll be taking this with me just to kind of help refresh my memory. Um, because I bought the kit, the kit actually comes with uh, different felts. And I'll show you. The, she's got different what she calls color stories. So you, um, whenever she puts out a kit, you, you can choose which color story you want to go with. And this is the one that I picked, and I don't know the name of it. But it comes with five um, different colors of felt. I chose this one because it has this heather gray. Can you see that? It's got a heather gray color in it. And I don't really have much felt that's like that. So I picked that one. Um, and I've cut uh, at least... I know I've used each of these colors um, from... Not necessarily from this kit because I have other kits. Um, but she also includes in that... Uh, kit, she'll include the coordinating uh, floss for it, and it is DMC floss. Um, and then she will also include some needles um, and some, just ignore that extra piece of felt in there, scrap piece, um, some string for tying your projects. So um, because you're going to be able to use these as an ornament when I'm done. That's what this is. Little string. Um, it's a thicker, uh, thicker, um, string than like say flo the floss. So you don't have to, you just cut this, um, and you can use it for your tie at the top. So you can hang it on the tree. Um, so that's in my kit as well as some, um, sequins and, um, beads in here. So these are all in the kit um, and they coordinate with the colors of the felt. So um, that's what happens to be in this kit that I have. I'm going to take this along with me along with some other um, additional ones because I've used other colors of felt now. This is also from Pasta Designs, all of these felts here. Um, I used these as well because they are, um, they're not, uh, I, I think these are acrylic. Um, maybe a blend or something because you can see it's got a pattern in it and it's got polka dots. So there's a blue, green, red, and a pink. So I've used those for the toboggans. I've also used this felt, which I also got from Pasha. This is like a peppermint stick. Um, that's what I call it. Peppermint stick pattern. Um, and, and you can see this is, I've used some of it from there, but it's a pretty good amount of felt that you get. You can kind of see it. This, these two have not, have not been used. So that's a full roll of felt that you will get. And then you can tell I've used each one of these, but just a little bit of more of this pink one, but you can see what it looks like when it's full. So you get a good amount. You're not going to run out anytime soon. Um, so there's that. And then the other felt that I've also um, picked up um, from my uh, working with paper tray ink is this, um, white felt right here. Um, I forgot what it's called. It's called snow something. Well, it's white. 
as white as close to white as you can probably get for a felt. Here's here's the tag that's on the little kit, and here is the white felt. So, um, because wool felt is a natural product, and you know what white sheep look like, you know what white, you know other white animals that they use they get felt from look like. Um, it, it's not going to be pure white because it's coming from an animal that isn't necessarily pure white. So um, when I asked Julie to, um, the owner, to come out with this color, she's like, you know, you do know it's not going to be white, but this is, this is a great felt. Um, I love this for cutting, you know, for felt pieces. Um, and it's a good weight. So um, I don't have one from Pashta. I don't know if she even has a white, but um, this is a nice color if you need some white. And of course, because I'm doing toboggans, um, they have like the little cuff at the bottom. So let me I'll show you what else I've used. I know I'm, I'm kind of rambling, sorry. Um, I'm so out of doing videos. This tag set right here from Tim Holtz. I don't even know if you can get this still. It's an older one. You get all these different tag sizes and dies and shapes. Um, it's 662423. And it's called Gift Tags. So I'm going to use this on the toboggan. I um, use this paper here from Mintai um, simply because it had lots of pieces in here that I could use for my um, toboggan. I'm going to show you one. Um, probably just, Let me just show you the, the most plain one probably I have right now here. This is what it looks like when you die cut the pieces. Like Obviously, you can use whatever colors you want. Um, and I've added on this little sp sprig of holly, so you can kind of see what it might look like once I'm done stitching it. It might be a little bit different, um, but you can see there's the white felt for the cuff and little pom-pom, and then there's the uh, main piece of the tobogg toboggan. Um, I'm going to stitch it, obviously, and then for the back, I used paper. Okay, so this is, it does coordinate with each of the colors that I cut for the main piece, right? And then I did stamp it um, right here. Um, this two from stamp is a Impression Obsession stamp. It is this one right here from Lindsay Olstrom. And I don't know if this is still available, but if you're interested um, in looking... Um, I don't know if she I don't know if she still has any of the wood stamps left because she she retired them. But anyway, um this really cute stamp um that has the to and from. I didn't want to do it in black because I didn't sort of want it to really appear too much because I just, you know, when the person hangs this on their tree, if they do, um, I didn't want this to be really uh, apparent. And then I signed it over here. And I used another gray pen for that which is very light in color. So again, you can't really see it too much. It doesn't pop out at you, but my signature is on this side. And then I'm gonna attach the tags. Here's one of the tags, um, likely towards the top here and, and tie it off with that string. So you'll have a loop to hang it from. Um, and then maybe add some little extras, fun extras. So that's one of the toboggans and that's kind of what, what it looks like when you die cut it all out. Um, here's some of the other dies I've used. Um, the die I used that is missing because it's inside. It's on this little magnetic sheet. This is the Coco Messages die. So she has a Coco mug. Um, I took one of the um, word dies from it. It fits on the toboggan. That's from Pashta. This one's from um, Memory Box. It's the plush holly leaves. I just cut some extra leaves because, you know, why not? Um, and they're on this magnetic sheet too. Oh, I didn't cut the little... I'm going to use the sequins for the berries um, that go with the holly. So that's why I didn't die cut that. This is a paper tray ink um, die. I don't know who designed it. It might have been Lizzie herself, who is um, the owner of Pashta. It's uh, Sweet Dreams. Oh. I don't know. Pajama patches. There's two dies that I put together, um, but you can see some of them are missing. And then here's a snowflake from um, Memory Box called Plush Mountain Snowflake. So I've cut one of those for my toboggans. Um, I took one of the dies that was in here 
And this is from the Pasha Design Keepsake Ornaments Extras die. So this one was sold separately. This might still be available. And then this is the kit with some extras attached to it. So um, I only cut a few pieces from the kit. You can see I didn't use them all. So you can do a lot of different patterns from her kits. Um, and then here's the main pieces that I use. So here's the toboggan, um, some decorative dies. There's the cuff. Um, there's a decorative die for the cuff. If you want to cut it, you don't have to. Um, and then it, here's that word die. It says be merry. There's the pom-pom um, at the top, snowflakes. Um, here's the holly dies that I had cut. And there's some extras on here that I didn't actually use, like a peppermint candy that's in here, but I didn't actually cut it. So um, I just wanted to share with you, um, you know, the die cutting, the dies, and then I'll come back um, in the video and um, share some finished projects, hopefully. Hopefully at least two. <laughs> if I talk too much tomorrow, then that's because I talk too much and didn't get anything done. Um, what I'll also be bringing with me is my stitching kit. I have like a kit that I have all put together of all the things that I use for stitching, like, you know, scissors and um, little things to poke um, the little chads out. So like this, this, this one was die cut pretty good. Lots of them fell out, but you could see sometimes doing this doesn't make them fall out. And it did this time, but sometimes I'll use these little um, flower shaping tools that have the little tiny hole to go through, but I don't sit there and do that like for all of them because it takes too much time. The needle's gonna push it out anyway. So I'm not worried about that, but um, yeah, I'll be back to share hopefully some finished projects um, for you. And I'm gonna need to figure out which sentiment stamp I'm gonna stamp on the tags because I haven't picked it out yet. Um, and I've also die cut, this was part of the whole kit, uh, these little heart buttons. So I'll be using some extras from my um, stash to, uh, to kind of decorate the toboggans. But that's what I'll be working on. Oh, and this is the ink that I used to stamp the um, to and from. It's the weather vane color from Paper Tray. It's a nice medium gray. It's not too in your face, but it's still, um, you can see it really well um, should you need to. So when I gift this on a Christmas gift, then you'll be able to see it. Um, yeah, that is it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll be back. Hey everyone, I'm back to share some of the projects that I've completed now. Um, I do have a funny story though. Uh, I did go to my um, crop this weekend and uh, when I got there I was unpacking all my items to uh, be able to craft with and then I realized that the die cut bag that I had, which actually was, they were all in this bag here, of all of the little projects that I was going to stitch, I had left at home. So I was an hour and 15 minutes away from, you know, where I live. And so I couldn't go back, just go back and get it. So it was, it was a little funny that I got there and didn't have the, you know, the main body of the project that I meant to, to craft with that day. Um, so I didn't get anything done. Um, but I did get the chance to visit with some friends and some new friends that I've made. So, um, that's what happened on Saturday. Um, so I'm actually coming to you from my couch. I have the day off. Um, it's not Sunday. Um, I have the day off. So I have been stitching some of the projects, um, that I had intended to on Saturday and wanted to share the completed ones that I have so far. I'm going to continue to do some more. Um, I have a total of 12, um, pre-cut. Um, so I don't think I'll need more than that, but who knows? Um, or I don't think I'll do more than that, I should say. So here are the ones that I have finished, and I did show you the pre-cut um, items. Um, not all of them, but this is the first one I did. Um, so this one is using red felt and uh, the uh, fresh snow felt from Paper Tray Ink. And then you can see I die cut um, a little, two little um, pieces of holly, um, and then I used some sequins for the... Um, berries instead of using felt. And then I also threaded some um, seed beads in there. Now this tag and the sentiment, um, those I also did on the side. I have a little tray here of tags um, to attach and I'm going to use them for some of them where it's appropriate. And the sentiment comes from a an old retired Darcy's red rubber stamp. Um, it's one, it's in a set. 
and I used a couple of different sets to do these. And then the tags themselves, um, let me think. I don't know where the, oh, it comes from that Tim Holtz set that I shared with you all. Um, and then for this one, I used some green um, embroidery floss to kind of bring in the color of the holly leaves. So I thought that was cute. So this is the first one I did, and here's that um, uh, thread at the top to be able to ha hang it on the gift, and then um, you can then use it on your Christmas tree if you celebrate Christmas. So that's the first little hat, toboggan, as you'd call it. Thought it turned out cute. Oh, and this is the back. So um, you guys, I showed you <clears throat> the die cuts before and this, the paper that I used. So I coordinated each of the papers with... Uh, uh, the felt colors that I was using here. So that's the first one. And then the second one I did is this one right here. And this one uses um, silver um, floss. Uh, I actually had, um, let me see if I've got it right here. Sorry, I'm hand holding. This is the floss that I was using, or actually it's um, metallic thread. Um, and you can see here it's like a polyester metallic. Um, here's the other end of the spool if you would like to look it up. I think I, I don't know where I got this. I want to say I got this at a craft store, but I think I actually might have purchased this at an embroidery store that used to be, um, in my area and may no longer be because they're doing construction where that store used to be. So building new condos. Um, and then here's, um, I just have my tags in a little bowl here, a little plastic I think these are for making cookies, and I got them at Target one year. Um, so I just have some tags already stamped in here um, with different sentiments. Um, so, uh, yeah. And then, so yeah, here is the um, second hat that I did, a little toboggan. Um, this one, what I did for this one, I, I put the tag underneath this button here that I had from my stash and sewed the button down to the um, cap here. Uh, and then this one has, is, is pretty sparkly. Like I said, I show, I um, showed you the metallic thread that I used and I, I created some little, um, sort of stitches in here. And then I also stitched in some clear, um, beads, um, after I had stitched down the little snowflake with the silver, um, thread as well. And then you can see a sequin and a seed bead in the middle. Um, I thought that turned out really cute. And you can see I'm using, um, Sometimes I'm going to use the um, coordinating embroidery floss to the actual um, cap, or I will use white. It just depends um, what I feel like doing, but um, that's what this one looks like. Really cute. Oh, and the back is uh, a white knitted paper from the same paper pack that I shared to you. So you can see what the back looks like. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but, you know, it is handmade, so it does look handmade. Um, but I thought these are cute. Okay. Um, and I think I need to put a blue dot there because that's bugging me. So, anyway. Um, this one doesn't have a tag on it, but it has a sentiment. So, I have a die that um, will let you uh, do a little sewing, the stitching dots for it. Um, so, this one says, Be Merry. And I added a little snowflake button here, and I got this from a jar that um, my friend Kat sent to me one year. Um, so thank you, Kat, for the button. Um, really cute snowflake button. I thought it went perfect with the little um, toboggan as an added um, embellishment. And you can see this one, I varied the two different floss colors. So for the center part of the cap, I used white. But for the um, cuff and the little pom-pom on top, I used um, the pink to coordinate with the solid part. So I thought that was really fun. And then the back has um, this wreath pattern on the back. And I thought it really, um, if you look closely, you can see like a coral colored berry in there. And I thought that went really well with that um, front side of the felt. Now you can obviously um, stitch these with felt for both sides. But because I wanted to use them as tags and I wanted to be able to write somebody's name um, with the to and from, um, I decided to, to use paper instead. So if I had done this with felt uh, for both layers, then it would have just been a plush little um, toboggan hat. That would be cute too. 
but I wanted to make these into tags where I could actually put their name here. Now, you could also, if you did it with just um, felt, you know, cut a tag that attaches to it with the to and from on it. Now, that's another way to do it. I was not thinking to do it that way, but, you know, these are my projects. So if you want to do these, and um, she still has the die, I don't know if she has the die available still, but it is, it's a really cute kit if you decide to go with it. Um, you can see what they make. And there's way, there's like so many different ways you can actually use the little hat because she has these other dies that go with them. And then of course, um, I used stuff in my stash to, um, augment whatever, you know, patterns I want to do. So I've got three done. I'm starting, um, the fourth, which is this polka dotted one. I think I'm going to add, add the heart in the middle. So you have to do that first, right? Cause, um, you got to stitch down the heart and then attach it to the base part, which is the other side. Um, so I thought this would just be really fun to, with the pattern like this, to do the heart instead. So yeah, that's what I'm working on today um, on my day off. And I hope you are having a good one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.